This year is almost over, so today we're taking a sneak peek into some of the top cars coming out in 2023 and 2024. And one of them was actually conceptualized more than 20 years ago. Well, let's just dive right in. Here's my list of top new cars to look out for, not ranked in any particular order. First up, we've got the 2024 Ford Mustang. With Ford focusing more energy on the EV race, the 2024 Ford Mustang might actually be the last of its kind to be powered by a V8 engine. And that's why Ford is going wild with the new Mustang. For example, the new Mustang will ditch the mechanical handbrake and instead just see a drift-inspired, electronically controlled one for sliding. This is the seventh generation Mustang and it has more muscular proportions and comes with tri-bar LED headlights. Inside, you'll find a 13.2 inch touchscreen. Among the changes Ford made to this Mustang include new design of the suspension knuckles, updated rear suspension links, a new flat bottom steering wheel, and new shock. Ford says it'll be Mustang's most powerful generation. The 5 liter V8 under the hood of this Mustang will now breathe through a pair of throttle bodies to supply more air with new camshafts making the most of its updated induction system. Ford also updated the engine to include better packaging, a higher compression ratio, and updated turbocharger if you want the 2.3 liter turbo 4. So far, there's no news on the exact pricing for the Mustang, but analysts expect the base EcoBoost model to start at $29,000. Expectations are that the all new Mustang will go on sale next summer. If you haven't seen my recent video about the end of muscle cars, check that out too. Next on the list is the 2023 and 2024 Mazda CX-90. Today, crossovers and SUVs are by far the most popular car types across the globe. That's why the Mazda CX-90 is set to be a major improvement to the currently available CX-9. We're talking about all new three-row mid-sized SUVs, and expectations are that it'll be available with the options for a new inline six-cylinder engine or a plug-in hybrid. The CX-90 will be the first Mazda in the U.S. ever to use Mazda's all new new rear-wheel drive platform. And like all Mazda SUVs, the CX-90 will come standard with all-wheel drive. If the CX-90 follows the pattern of the CX-60 plug-in hybrid, we can expect this car to come with the same inline four-cylinder engine and 17.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack. The 2023 model is set to start production by the end of this year. Next on the list is one of my favorite brands, Toyota. They have a full-size SUV that gets its name from one of the largest and long-lived tree species in the world. I'm talking about the 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro. And I wasn't exaggerating about this SUV getting its name from a tree. Some Sequoia trees can live for 3,000 years. Actually, Toyota picked the name Sequoia for this SUV to convey strength, longevity, and beauty. The second generation came all the way back in 2007. And Toyota debuted the third generation Toyota Sequoia just this past January 2022. The new Sequoia comes decked out with all the bells and whistles for off-roading like forged 18-inch wheels with 33-inch tires, a front skid plate, crawl control, and a locking rear differential. This SUV also comes with four-wheel drive as a standard feature. Since the four-wheel drive only 2023 Sequoia TRD Pro is the top of the line variant, it is a starting price of just under $77,000. That's a pretty steep price. So how does this SUV compared with others in its category? Well, the Ford Expedition beats the base trim of this Toyota Sequoia in horsepower, but not in torque. But both the Toyota Sequoia and Ford Expedition are ranked very similar when it comes to things like heated steering wheels, heated and ventilation seats, and multi-zone climate controls. But now let's see what Nissan is doing. I'm talking about the 2023 Nissan Z. It has a starting base price of $39,990. But this isn't a new car. It's actually a refresh. The outside of the 2023 Nissan Z has a brand new outer skin that sits on its carried over platform. And the inside is features like an eight speaker Bose sound system and refreshed premium suede seats. You can't talk about the Nissan Z and not compare it to the Toyota GR Supra. Both these cars bring back the 1990 sports car nostalgia. The 2023 Toyota Supra gets its power from a pair of BMW engines. The first one produces 255 horsepower, and the second optional engine produces 382 horsepower. On the other hand, the 2023 Nissan Z gets its power from a twin-turbo V6 engine. The sole engine produces 400 horsepower. Both cars are available with manual transmission, but now the Z's cabin is a little more exciting than the Supra's. And when it comes to full efficiency, the 2023 Toyota Supra wins. It does 31 miles per gallon on the highway against the Nissan. 24 miles per gallon. The Nissan Z is expected to become available next spring 2023. 
Also on the list is the Corolla. Specifically, I'm talking about the Toyota GR Corolla. According to Toyota, the 2023 GR Corolla shares the Corolla name and quality you expect. But that's where the similarity ends. This all new Toyota was engineered by the Toyota Gazoo team. And the car was tested on a track by Toyota's president, Akio Toyota himself. But that's not all. The GR Marizo edition was actually named after Akio Toyota's racing pseudonym, Moritsu Kinoshita. It's hand built at the TGR Motomachi factory in Japan. The GR Corolla will feature a 1.6 liter three-cylinder diesel direct injected turbo engine that produces 300 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. The GR Corolla will also be the first ever Corolla to feature a rally-derived GR4 front-to-rear adjustable all-wheel drive system. The interior of the car is also race-inspired. As you can expect to see a 12.3 inch multi-information display with four-wheel drive mode along with turbo pressure and a gear shift indicator. Actually, Toyota themselves said they built this car to get your pulse racing and take your breath away. One car I'm personally excited about is the 2023 Lexus RX350. We're talking about a complete redesign both inside and out. First off, the wheelbase is 2.4 inches longer and the rear overhang is shorter. Last year's V6 engine has now been changed to a turbocharged 2.4 liter inline four engine, which will produce 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. It should get you from zero to 60 in 7.2 seconds. What we do know is that the 2023 RX will be offered in three different powertrain options at its launch. An all new turbocharged hybrid, plus you have the more traditional hybrid, and of course, a turbo gas engine version. As far as the interior redesign, we're talking about a new standard 9.8 inch unit display or an optional 14 inch infotainment display. That all said, some reviewers are actually calling this Lexus a wallflower because the design changes are less exciting. Its acceleration system has also been criticized for being just adequate and nothing more. Another car to watch out for is the 2023 Polestar 3. This is from the Swedish company that was bought by Volvo seven years ago. They released the first teaser of the Polestar 3 electric crossover all the way back in June 2021. The Polestar 3 is actually Polestar's first ever vehicle to be made right here in the United States. It's set to be manufactured in Volvo's factory in Ridgeville, South Carolina. But the Polestar 3 won't just be manufactured in the U.S. It'll also be manufactured by Polestar's Chengdu plant in China at the beginning of next year. The Polestar 3 should come available in long range of performance variants. Both variants will be powered by two electric motors. If you want to know what this car is about, well, Polestar CEO Thomas Ingenloth says this car is not a car to drive to kindergarten. Interestingly enough, this electric crossover will only come with two rows of seating, not three. The reason why is because two row seating allows the crossover to have a more aerodynamic profile. Initially, the Polestar 3 won't come with advanced technologies like autonomous highway piloting. Technology like this that will become available later through a software update. Right now, much of the specifications of the Polestar 3 are just in speculation. What is known is that its driving range is expected to be 372 miles. Polestar is yet to release an official price, but analysts expect the base price to be anywhere between $70,000 to $80,000. Polestar is really hoping the Polestar 3 will boost their growth trajectory and take the company to its next growth phase. Polestar has seen its up and downs. In the first six months of this year, 2022, they had revenues of $1.04 billion. That's almost double the $53.4 million they made last year. But they also reported an operating cost of $520 million, which is an increase of 143%. Let's look at another crossover. That's the 2023 Honda CRV. This one will have a completely new look on the outside and inside. Inside, you'll find adaptive cruise, blind spot monitoring on all models, an infotainment system with available seven to nine inch touchscreens with wireless Android Auto and lane keeping assist. Under the hood, you'll find a retuned standard 190 horsepower turbo four engine. You'll also have the option of a 204 horsepower hybrid powertrain. And on the outside, we're talking about a refreshed sporty look. The front of the car will have an active shutter lower front honeycomb grill on it. This grill was engineered to close and open when the underhood system needs more cooling air. This will also enhance aerodynamics. The 2023 CRV will be decked out with specially engineered LED daytime running lights and LED high and low beam headlights for enhanced visibility. But here's where things get really interesting, the price. Honda officially released the price of the CRV a few weeks ago and there's been mixed reviews. A base CRV EX with front wheel drive and a 1.5 liter turbo 
charge, didn't you? Will cost you $32,355. That's a lot more expensive than the 2022 base model's price of $28,035. The 2023 CRV's middle trim will be the sport all-wheel drive 2-liter powertrain hybrid, and that trim will set you back $35,195. I close today with the last but not the least, and that's the 2023 Honda Civic Type R. The all-new 2023 Civic Type R is one of Honda's most powerful Civic jet. We're talking about a turbocharged 2-liter engine that produces 315 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. It also has a 6-speed manual transmission. This includes a stiffer shift lever and updated shift gate pattern. Combined, these are said to make the 2023 Civic gear changes more satisfying and precise. Now, Honda hasn't officially announced just how heavy this car is, but a spokesman confirmed its curb rate has gone up slightly. Honda's also yet to announce the exact price of the new Civic as of the recording of this video. But now, you tell me, which of these top 2023 and 2024 cars are you looking most forward to and why? Please share by commenting below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for your support.